From Peninsula TV studio in San Carlos, Pacific Bell and the Chronicle present the Bay Area's hottest game show, Peninsula Quiz Kids. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to Quiz Kids, the show where speed, knowledge, and collaboration are the tools these kids need for the chance to win valuable prizes. And today we have two teams that are new to Quiz Kids, and they are steeped in mythology. Because over here we have the Crystal Springs Uplands Griffins. And they are going to take on the Gun High School Titans. So we'll, we'll take some time to schmooze a little bit later, but let's start with our first round, the collaboration round. <laughs> Gentlemen, here is how we play the first round. I have a series of questions here. They are each worth 10 points. I'm going to start over here with the Crystal Springs Upland team and ask you a question and give you 10 seconds to collaborate. Then your captain, Lee, here will give me the answer you think is correct. If it's correct, you're in the points, but if it's not, I'll give the gun team a chance, five seconds of collaboration time, to, uh, to give me an answer. And then if you give me that answer, Arjun, we will give you the points. We'll go back and forth until the round is over. Good luck to both of you. Here's the first question for the Griffins. His countrymen called him Il Duce, named this fascist leader of World War II Italy. Mussolini. Mussolini. Mussolini is correct for 10 points. Okay, Gunn, here's your first question. The play Coriolanus, written in the early 1600s, was written by what British playwright? And your answer, Arjun? Poole. Poole? Poole. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal the points, Crystal Springs. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> you can take all the credit you want, but the answer is William Shakespeare. We'll move on, and we're back to Crystal Springs Uplands. The 1996 Summer Olympics were held in which U.S. city? Atlanta. Atlanta is correct for 10. <laughs> all right, Gun. Calgary, Edmonton, and Red Deer are all cities in what Canadian province? Alberta. Alberta is right for 10 points. When you divide a negative number by a negative number, what will the quotient be? Positive. Positive. That is right for 10 points. <laughs> now they're getting excited. Since its inception, how many U.S. Congresses have there been, including the present one? And your answer? 106. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Can you give me the answer? 105? No, it was 107. Oh, you are, I'm impressed with how close you were. Let's go back here to the Griffins. Claude McKay, County Cullen, and Langston Hughes were all associated with what literary movement named after a black neighborhood in New York? Harlem Renaissance. That is correct, the 10 points. <laughs> Gun High School, your question. The same year as the outbreak of the American Revolution, he published The Wealth of Nations. What was his name? Adam Smith. That is right for 10 points. <laughs> Hobart is the capital of what island where one would eponymously, would find eponymously named devils? Tasmania. That is correct for 10. <laughs> One of my favorite uh, Warner Brothers characters, too. But never mind. I'm the intellectual here, folks. All right. What is the name of the fatty substance in the blood which, if elevated, may increase the risk of heart attack? Cholesterol. That is right, for 10 points. <laughs> in comparison to our House of Representatives, what is the lower house of parliament in Britain called? House of Commons. That is right, for 10 points. Arjun. What is the term for numbers such as I or the square root of 16? 
complex numbers. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal it, Crystal Springs. Perfect squares? No, we're looking for imaginary. Whatever. Next question. What type of paintings is Diego Rivera most well known for? Murals. Murals? Murals is right for 10 points. And the next question for Gunn is, who is the current commissioner of Major League Baseball? Arjun? John Madden. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> Do you know the answer? Bud Selig. That is right, you get 10 points. <laughs> and it's back to you, Griffins. Henry VII, Henry VIII, Edward VI, Mary I, and finally Elizabeth were all monarchs of what royal dynasty of Welsh origin? Victoria? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal this one gun if you can tell me the answer. Tudor. You stole it, 10 points. And the next question is yours. Thundering silence, wise folly, quiet storm. What is the term for this type of rhetoric where one adjective contradicts the word it modifies? Oxymoron. Oxymoron is correct for 10 points. And the next question, what hormone is used to stimulate cardiac muscles and raise blood pressure? Adrenaline. Adrenaline is right for 10 points. <laughs> Gun High School, what is the only man-made structure on Earth that can be seen from space? The Great Wall of China. That is correct for 10 points. In a Venn diagram, what mathematical principle is illustrated if both of the circles are shaded? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal it, Gun. The Union. That is right, for 10 points. And it is your question. What position did Vice President Dick Cheney hold in the elder President Bush's administration? Arjun, do you know? Uh, Secretary of the of Defense. That is right, for 10 points. <laughs> Listen to Josh. All right, let's look at the score at the end. It's very close. Crystal Springs has 90 to guns, 80 points. Well played. <laughs> All right. Well, let's take some time out to meet our teams. We'll start off with the Crystal Springs team and their captain, Lee Ming Zen. Lee, you are a junior. In fact, the entire team is made up of juniors. You guys must be very proud of your class. Okay. I understand that one of your major interests is computer programming. Yes. And that this is something that you may like to do as a career. Right. I'm, I uh, had a summer internship uh -huh. over uh, at KLA 10 Core. That's in San Jose. So, so right in the heart of Silicon Valley. Right. And what did you do there that summer? Um, I was a junior level programmer. Wow. Well, you may have already made some connections that you may need in the future. Um, and you're also a trivia buff. <laughs> you you can say that. We, they don't like the word trivia at Crystal Springs, I'm told, right? No. Well, we don't like that word here either. <laughs> we, we talk knowledge, right? Correct. You're involved in knowledge masters? Or knowledge bowl. Knowledge bowl over there, okay. And you play chess? Yes. And you play chess on the computer? Uh, sometimes yeah, I do. You do? Okay, well, good. Your uh, teammate here is Mike Bauer. Mike, uh, you're going to be our face-off challenger in sports, so are you an athlete yourself? Uh, yeah, I play golf, hockey, and uh, I run cross-country in the fall. And what is your big sport, do you think? Uh, it would be golf. It's yeah. golf. Well, golf season's just beginning, right? That is correct. So you're just starting. Um, I'm supposed to ask, my father would want me to ask you what your handicap is. Uh, it's about a one. That's really good, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's really good. Good for you. That's great. <laughs> well, you know, we all talk about Tiger Woods being like the great golfer today. <clears throat> Who would you say, as a young golfer, would be the, the best classic golfer from before his era? Probably Bobby Jones or uh, Ben Hogan. Bobby Jones because he won the Grand Slam okay. in one year. I'm sure he appreciates that. Uh, and here is Tyson Mao. Tyson, you have um, been playing violin for 12 years. Yes. Wow. Do you play at school? 
Um, a little bit. Mostly I play with the California Youth Symphony. Wow. What, what's the most challenging piece you think you've ever had to play? With the symphony, um, about three years ago we played Don Juan by Strauss. We went to Spain that year. And you ever, you went to Spain. Wow, was that an exciting experience? Yeah, a lot of people got sick though. <laughs> I want to apologize to the Spanish government for, no, I'm sure, I'm sure it had nothing to do with that. It's just, you know, that happens sometimes. You go on a vacation or you go on a trip and y'all catch something from each other. The sweating a lot, the, the fiddle and the bow, and I'm going to move on now. Um, oh, I understand also you play chess because Lee introduced you to chess. Yeah, um, he uh, got me to go to a tournament once and uh, now I've, I just went to another tournament last Monday in Berkeley. Got third place there, so. Wow, congratulations. So would you consider Lee like your idol, like you worship? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually there's another Lee that used to be in the symphony named Lee Peng, but that's oh. a different story. <laughs> oh, okay, and we won't tell it. But we will introduce your coach, Wells Wadley. Mr. Wadley, thank you for being with us. I couldn't help noticing that rather ugly bird right behind you. I assume that is a griffin. Gosh, ugh. I bet that makes all the other uh, enemy teams get very scared before your teams take them on. Let's see how tough the gun team is. Uh, your captain is Arjun Rastagi, uh, and you are a senior, Arjun. Yes. So um, seniors, you know, coasting. It's uh, you know nice. spring semester. Yeah. You have any idea where you're going to go to school? Yeah, I'll be going to Stanford. Wow! Congratulations. That's great. Thanks. Do you know what you're going to major in? I'm, I don't know, I really have two years to decide, but maybe biology. So are you kind of just taking, you know, a couple of pottery classes, walking around the campus, cutting school? What are you doing this spring? No, I'm taking uh, four, four AP classes in jazz band and, and band. So you are a glutton for punishment. <laughs> no, that's really, that's, that's wonderful. Do you do anything for fun or do you do something to kind um, of relieve the academic stress? Well, jazz band, even though it's, it is a class, it's probably my most fun class. Oh, basically. sure. Jazz band is all, everyone's favorite. Yeah. What do you play? I play tenor saxophone. Maybe we can get a duet going with the violin over here with Tyson <laughs> later on. If there are no explosions, yeah. There are no explosions. Okay, right. Josh Burton, also a senior. Mm -hmm. Josh, I'm speaking to you earlier. I knew you were pretty shy, so I'm going to try and bring you out. A little bit here, relax you. Um, kind of low key, no sense of humor. Very serious. We're all kidding here, folks. Josh, you're wearing a Princeton shirt. Do you have any idea where you're going to go to college in the fall? Yeah, I was thinking of Princeton, actually. Really? You got accepted and everything? Yep. Congratulations. So I'm going to ask you, what, now that you know you're into Princeton, what keeps you moving? What keeps you motivated for the rest of the year? Uh, my friends push me around a lot. Your friends push you around. And yeah. What do you do for fun? Um, well, I'm taking a lot of classes this year that I don't really need to be taking. I'm taking band. I'm taking jazz band, just like Arjun. And I'm taking choir, too. And I'm also taking a bunch of other classes, like physics or English, mm -hmm. that are they're challenging, but they're also fun. Good, good. I like that spirit. I also noticed a little scar on your forehead. Is yeah, that that's from Ultimate Frisbee. I, I was, um, a couple months ago, I was jumping in, in this game, and my forehead slammed into a little guy's tooth. And I had blood all over my face. It didn't really hurt that much, but I needed stitches. But it must have made it for a very dramatic. Yeah, moment. it was very dramatic. Good, good. And I, I assume you're a pretty dramatic guy. Yeah. You told me earlier that you like to sing. Yes, I enjoy singing very much. And you're playing, you're singing bass in the chorus? I sing bass. Good, good, good. And here we have David Huck. David, you're not a senior. No. You're not a junior. No. You're not a sophomore. No. What are you? I'm a freshman. Oh, I'm a freshman. He says this. So, do you feel sort of intimidated with this? You know, the the high quality gun student who's standing right next to you, and yeah. you are a lowly freshman. What do you bring to this team that's different, fresh, and new? Um, well, I am pretty. I enjoy history a lot and uh, English, so I know some things in there, but they all take U U.S. history and all that other yeah. stuff. Yeah. So. <laughs> but Gunn's got a great drama program. Are you taking drama? Yeah, I'm taking drama one right now. Actually, Good. it's theater one, but... And Good. We're, we've done a lot of plays. I've not actually been in any plays outside of the uh, class, but it's a really fun class. Oh, you've got games. time. And I understand in your spare time you like to sail. Yeah, I sail, and I actually also swim for Gunn. Oh, good, good. Well, good luck to you. And I'd like you to meet your coach, Mr. John Bear. <laughs> and I have one more person to introduce before we continue our play, and he's very important to us. Um, he came in, again, wearing sunglasses, and someone asked me if he was a wanted man, and I want to say he's one of the most wanted men we could have, Mr. Frank Sabote. <laughs> Yeah. 
If any question or conflict comes up along the course of the game, Mr. Saboti will let me know what I should do, and his word will be law. So we will continue with our games as soon as we see this video of Crystal Springs Uplands High School. Crystal Springs Upland School served 350 students in grades 6 through 12 on a historic 10-acre campus in Hillsdale. CSU draws students from all parts of the Bay Area. Active participation sparks a unique educational environment with many opportunities in the various academic, athletic, and arts programs. CSU is the community that challenges students academically while still creating a caring environment. The positive environment that this small community creates is noticeable all over campus. Stop by the theater when the entire CSU community gathers for morning meetings to share a few minutes of news, thought, humor, and celebration. Or walk across campus to our commons and see kids enjoying a break from their studies. Head over to the field and watch a friendly football game. Top-notch and engaging teachers, small class sizes, and the best available teaching tools are all part of the endeavor for academic excellence. All our classrooms are wired and have internet access through a T1 line. Language students have a great new digital language lab, and the computer lab sports the latest technology. CSU is a wonderful place to learn, grow, gain confidence, and make friends. The CSU experience truly is a unique one. Well, you two newcomers may wonder why you're standing next to me at this moment, and that is because it is time to play the face-off round. <laughs> Mike is a specialist in sports, as we found out when we talked to him, and I'd like to take this moment to let you all know how grateful we are to the San Francisco Chronicle, our friends and sponsors, for supplying all the sports and current events questions you hear on this show. And over here, Josh is an expert in math. And I don't know where those questions come from, but they're hard, and I don't understand them. So I'm going to just ask these questions one by one in your categories. They're each worth 10 points. And if you think you know the answer, just shout it out, and I'll give you the points. And we'll keep going till the round is over. Shake hands, gentlemen. And good luck to both of you. Mike, here's your first question. How many Wimbledons has Pete Sampras won? Six. Seven. So close. Josh, your first math question. Solve for x in the equation x squared minus 1 equals 0. x equals positive 1 or negative 1. You got both answers. Good for you. How many medals did Marion Jones win at the 2000 Olympics? Five. That is correct for 10 points. <laughs> Its derivative is the square of secant x. What is this trigonometric function equal to sine x over cosine x? Tangent of x. That is right. <laughs> the gun team is quiet because they're so in awe of the intelligence of their team. But go ahead. All right, next sports question. This American Greco-Roman wrestler shocked the world winning the gold in Sydney. Roland Gardner. That is right for 10 points. On a standard six-sided die, what is the probability that you will roll a prime or even number? Mm. Five sixths. That is right, five six for 10. <laughs> <coughs> he won the 2000 Pro Football MVP award. Name him. 2000 or 2001? 2000. This past year or the year before? It only says 2000, I don't know anymore. I'll say Marshall Falk. And I'll say you're right for 10 okay. points. <laughs> In which, <laughs> in which quadrant does the angle 217 degrees lie? The third quadrant. That is right for 10 points. <laughs> These guys know their sports and their math, and the, it is a tie score, 120 to 120. <laughs> Good work to both of you. We will um, continue with the final round and break this tie, we hope, right after we see this video about Gun High School.
That is the gun jazz band playing in that video. They sound incredible. Well, you don't want to talk about that. You want to talk about winning more points, and you'll do that in this upcoming round, the lightning round. <laughs> Here's where it all gets fast and furious because the points are doubled and you're playing to win. You each have a buzzer in front of you and I'll tell you, put your hands right on those buzzers. I'm going to ask a series of questions. The first person to buzz in gets the first chance to answer. If you get it right, you score 20 points for your team. But if you don't get it right, the other team gets five seconds to collaborate and their captain can deliver an answer and steal those points. So you've got to play carefully. If by chance someone buzzes in before I finish a question and they get it wrong, I will ask the whole question for the other team so that they can hear it, all right? Good luck to both teams. Toussaint de Louverture led a successful slave revolt on what? Yes, um, Lee. Haiti. Haiti is right. <laughs> Who wrote the feminist groundbreaker, The Other Sex? Yes, Tyson. Helen Hunt. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Gun, you can steal the points if you can tell me who wrote that book. No idea. It is Simone de Beauvoir. Next question. Which scientist and mathematician invented game theory and put quantum mechanics into a solid mathematical framework? Yes, Lee. Schrodinger. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Gun, do you know? Richard Feynman. No, it was John von Neumann. Pyongyang is the capital of what Asian nation? Yes, Josh. North Korea. That is correct, for 20 points. You could all cheer gun. They, they did a really good job. They're stunned with joy. OK, here we go. If the chance of rain on Saturday is 2 thirds and the chance of rain on Sunday is 1 third, you are not living in the Bay Area this week. I'm telling you that right now. OK, if the chance of rain on Saturday is 2 thirds and the chance of rain on Sunday is 1 third, what is the chance that it will rain this? Yes, Mike. 1 half. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. If the chance of rain is on Saturday is 2 thirds and the chance of rain on Sunday is 1 third, what is the chance that it will rain this weekend? 7 ninths. That is right for 20 points. <laughs> What twin brother of Romulus did not survive? Yes, Josh. Remus. Remus is correct. <laughs> did you know he was killed by a shovel? Isn't that interesting? If you score a hat trick in hockey, ha yes, Mike. Three goals. Three is right. <laughs> In 1888, what incumbent Democratic president won the... Yes, Josh. Grover Cleveland. That is correct. <laughs> this dramatist is famous for Endgame and Waiting for Godot. What is his name? I'm waiting. Samuel Beckett. What common bacteria is beneficial in the human digestive system? Yes, Tyson. E. coli. E. coli is correct. It's ready. <laughs> What sea to the northeast of Australia is named for a type of reef typically, yes, uh, Arjun? The Great Barrier Sea. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You don't have to oh, buzz, sorry. you can talk, yeah, coral, relax, coral. tell me, Lee. Coral. Coral Sea is right. <laughs> what is the name of a line segment which runs through a circle and whose, yes, Tyson? Secan. No, I'm sorry, let me finish. What is the name of a line segment which runs through a circle and whose endpoints are on the circumference? Gun, can you tell us? A chord. A chord is correct for 20. They stole the points, Gun. They stole the points. They don't like to clap. They like to listen. What is the term given to the practice of law enforcement officers pulling over a disproportionate number of minority? Yes, Lee. Racial profiling. That is correct for 20 points. <laughs> See, Gun, Crystal Springs, they, they cheer. It's all right. Name the former Stanford golfer with a debilitating leg problem. Yes, Mike, it better be you. Casey Martin. That's right. <laughs> I could have said that without even looking down. His other mathematical contributions include a mnemonic for formulas used in solving spherical triangles. He is best known, however, for his invention of logarithms. What is his name? Yes, Tyson. Lee Pang. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. But it was nice of you to 
offer your friend up for that. Gun, do you know? John DeBeer. That is right for 20 points. What, okay, my mythological teams, one of you's gotta know this. What mythological musician could play so sweet? Yes, Tyson. Orpheus. Say? Orpheus. That is right for 20 points. <laughs> Next question. Magnesium and calcium belong to what specific? Yes, Ma Tyson. The rare earth metals. Can I, is that enough? No. I need more information, and I can't tell you anymore. Alkali. That is correct. <laughs> 20 points. Next question, Bozeman, Billings, and Butte. Yes, Josh. Montana. Montana is right. <laughs> what series of four operas by Wagner tells the story of Siegfried and Brunhilda? Yes, Tyson. The Ring Cycle. The Ring Cycle, I, that is correct. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Next question. What is the term for the corrupt practice whereby relatives of import yes, Lee. Nepotism. That is right. <laughs> and my, my uncle Bob put that in there. And the question, the, the uh, final score, I heard the, the buzzer sound. Gun has 260, but with 320, Crystal Springs Uplands wow. wins the game. <laughs> wow. Gun High School, you guys were great. You and especially you were great at stealing points in that last round. You played very well all the way to the end and thank you. Stealing something you're good at. <laughs> Crystal Springs Uplands, you guys did very well. I'll come and shake your hand, but I want to tell you you're gonna come back, which is great. You're gonna play another team, and if you keep playing and winning, you're gonna get to go to London courtesy of our friends at ACIS. And that is an exciting thing to shoot for. And I hope you will shoot for coming back in another week to watch us again. So thank you very much. Till then, bye-bye. Our special thanks to the Chronicle staff for developing the questions for sports at GERD events. This year's champions will be winging their way to London for an all-expenses-paid nine-day adventure to some of the world's most historic sites, courtesy of ACIS. The producers of Peninsula Quiz Kids wish to thank the following. The Chronicle, Pacific Bell, Molly Stones, Target, Jamba Juice, Century Theaters, Silver Terrace Nursery, AEIS Ronald Bland, Sam Trans, and the San Mateo County Office of Education.